Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Tree Greenfield and I'm here to read the cards for you. I was looking at your energy and I am seeing that you are um, having a lot of things to do right now to achieve your goal and I wanted to find do a reading to help you to uh, know what you need to do to make it easier for you to keep going, okay? So what we're going to do is start with the um, the uh, Rider Waite cards. And I want to add, too, that this is a timeless reading. So anytime you run, run across this reading, it's meant for you. And also, if it resonates for you, it was meant for you. If it doesn't resonate with you, please check with your other signs, your other, your moon, your rising, your uh, Venus signs, if not your sun sign. Just, um, you know, perhaps this reading's not for everyone, um, but it is uh, for those Aquarius who are looking for um, a way to deal with the, the many things on their plate right now and how to keep going. All right, how to keep going and getting there. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Oh, I think one was the... Okay, we're going to go ahead and start with this Rider weight set here. All right. Sorry. Let's do this the right way, okay? <laughs> Spirit, please, for, Air, for Aquarius, highest good. I'm looking for what to release and what to embrace at this time. What to release and what to embrace right now and how to deal, how to keep going. What does Aquarius need to know in order to keep them on their track for highest good? Okay, let's go with these. Okay, so this is what to release and what to embrace. So the first thing we're told to release is, okay, let me try. Yeah, there we go. I think these are up. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this one came out upside down. So it's saying um, uh, the Ten of Cups came out upside down. Um, so it's saying that uh, qu pity and arguments, disunity and waste those are the types of things that you would want to release at this time. I'm um, not really sure more. We're going to learn more about these. We're going to clarify all these. Um, if it was meant to come out upside down, it would be a reminder that everything you've planned for has worked out. Um, so there would be a sense of happiness and lasting success. And this is what you're going for, I would imagine. This is something that you're wanting to uh, achieve is this uh, contentment but it's also showing a bit of uh, you know a lot about the family and goals oriented towards family um, and maybe that's not what you have in mind uh, but but the card itself in the uh, reverse position is telling us uh, it's reminding us of um, arguments disunity um, self-pity so things like that would be something to release as well uh, on your journey here. Let's look at the next card. We have um, the Eight of Swords, which is this feeling of being blocked, especially mentally, feeling like um, you have fears and doubts holding you back, uh, overthinking, uncontrolled thoughts. Um, this card reminds you that although it feels like you're blocked, you can still take a step. You're still able to move. You just need to take the first step. You need to, uh, you know, uh, step out of that situation that has you feeling this way, not like taking some kind of action. Whereas the swords represent mental, um, mental conflict and mental uh, imprisonment even. So, um, those are definitely some things that could be that are worth releasing to get rid of at this time to, to try to deal with. And we're going to find out more about that here in just a moment. But this side is telling us what we should embrace at this time. What are your strengths and what are your things that what are the things that the resources that you have right now that can help you uh, to overcome your challenges? And the first thing we have here is the three of cups. So this is a uh, asking you to embrace the camaraderie and the joy and the celebration that you that you have 
available to you um, to celebrate your success with those you care about. Um, support, you have support uh, from others. You're able to share and resolve problems together. Um, there's joy, friendship, gladness. There's a, a lot of bounty here. So this is what you want to embrace at this time. This is going to help you to move through the challenges and to help you to um, deal with maybe too many things to do right now. Um, take the time to celebrate. Take the, or you know find help with each other. You know love each other and have uh, you know a lot of uh, renew that sense of joy and and happiness that you that will project into your future. You know how we want to keep our vibrations high and and you know we want to uh you know maybe we need some help getting out of this feeling and the way we do that is with our our friends and our family and those that we love and and we can you know share and then another way to get out of this feeling is to focus on the things the the joy and the beautiful things that we do have Okay, all right, what else should Aquarius embrace? The High Priestess. Okay. So at this time, uh, trust your own counsel first. So when you're making choices here, you're, what do you do? How do you get out of this? Apparently, you do have this resource of being in the High Priestess energy where you can you know, go inside, you have the, the insight and the intuition to tell you what to do next and to listen to yourself. Pay attention to what your, in, your intuition is telling you at this time. Okay, let me go ahead and look further uh, with this next deck. We're going to expound on this. Uh, Spirit, please, for Aquarius, highest good, what advice do you have for us to understand what these cards mean and how to deal with these um, internal and external forces and how do we stay on track for Aquarius this time thank you Okay, the first card is the Seven of Feathers. I always have them upside down. Don't know what I mean to do that. The Seven of Feathers, the Tower, and Justice. These are all playing a part in your, in your uh, energy right now. And so we're going to learn more about these, uh, these cards at this time. So the Seven of Feathers is preparation, resourcefulness. Um, it's also about strategy and recognizing dishonesty in ourselves or others. Um, the Tower is about, you know, a, a big change, a big shakeup or upheaval that's giving you a whole new, uh, it's releasing you from the past and bringing you forward into the future. It's giving you a chance for uh, a revelation, an epiphany, and an understanding. Ooh, it's warm here, let me tell you. <laughs> Turn my AC off for the ooh, for this. Anyway, the tower is all about uh, um, you know this. It's kind of like a scary thing for a lot of people because it means like a, an upheaval and a crumbling of something, something that's uh, that the foundations that you've built, but it's going to give you a whole new path forward. It's going to allow you, if you don't let it drag you down, it's going to give you the opportunity to really um, go forward with a new uh, and then build something brand new from the ground up. And then we have justice here, number 11, truth and clarity, balance and understanding that uh, justice is is playing out for all of us um, that you know we are going to receive the rewards for our efforts as well as uh, you know anything that's been wronged to us or by us will also be rectified 
So those are the things that we have to think about at this time. I'm going to read from the book, um, the guidebook on these. The Seven of Feathers, for instance, um, is a interesting card because it's a bright yellow card in the Rider Waite, and it so it means that you know there's something good about it, but it's also a you know, a card about deception and dishonesty as well as strategy. So let's see what we have here with the Seven of Feathers. The preparation and resourcefulness are the key words here. A warrior, Cheetah, knows her strength and masters her natural abilities. Armed with foresight, she responds swiftly with new approaches to any problems. Cheetah guides you in focusing on your goal, helping you reach it with ease and grace. Use your initiative and be prepared to make your move. Keep yourself ahead of the game by closely observing what is going on. With eyes and mind open, dishonest behavior will be revealed. Look within and study all angles. You instinctively know what steps you need to take to bring forth the best results. So keep in mind, Aquarius, that uh, you know an open mind and and you know ask you know keeping looking at everything from every angle even from the angle of you know am i you can ask yourself am i doing something to hold myself back am i deceiving myself in some way am i am i blinding myself some you know am i blinding myself to opportunities or um chances to to forgive and to, um, um, you know, build relationships and um, st strengthen uh, relationships or, um, you know, those are the things that can hold us back on our goals because they, they give us some kind of low vibrational feelings unless we can let go of that. So a lot of times uh, we want to take a new approach uh, prepare for our next steps and that's another thing that's that's uh, a way to break out of this this gridlock that we might feel uh, mental is to uh, take the you know prepare make a plan be strategic and make a plan and that will help you to get out of that too making a plan towards your goals will help you will free you up from any kind of heavy feelings that are heavy vibrational feelings that are that are possibly holding you back um, so, um, new approaches, reason, logic, initiative, and courage, those are the things that you have on your side right now, and those are the things that you should be using in order to, uh, you know, break yourself free and start fresh and to get out of uh, a troubling situation. But we do have the tower here. I'm going to look at the tower number 16 and the major arcana. Um, we have two, three major arcanas here, and um, one of them being the tower. So let's look at, at that more closely. So we have the chameleon, release, and revelation. Chameleon is the shaman of adaptation. Seizing the power of cloaking, he changes color to blend with his shifting surroundings. Life is change, and you have the choice to either accept change or to resist it. By clinging to ideas that no longer work within the structure of your spiritual evolution, the winds of revelation will force you to go with the flow. Chameleon is here to help you shift the colors of your state of being, setting you on the path to your highest truths. Relax, place trust in yourself, and release fear. By attuning yourself to the magic of the chameleon, you become more receptive to the powers around you. You'll be able to embrace the high priestess more fully. Um, you know, so release the, the things that are holding, clinging to ideas that no longer work within the structure of your spiritual evolution. We're all growing spiritually. We're all evolving. And for Aquarius at this time, it's time to recognize that some of the old beliefs and thoughts that we held dear to ourselves, um, you know, that we, 
cre- we created a foundation of our own lives with those things. It's time to release those things now. It's time to let them go. Um, this feeling of, um, you know, disharmony with, within a family, um, disunity, um, so forth. So something's going to happen to shake you up if it hasn't already. Something, something powerful will bring about an epiphany for you. It it's, appears that poor, according to this card. And so we also have another major arcana card as the justice card, truth and clarity. So let's check out that one. That's number 11. And it's depicted by the crow. Truth and clarity. At the portal of shadow and light, the seen and unseen, crow holds the gifts of ancient wisdom and sacred law. Her sharp perception illuminates the core of truth. She is able to discern what is fair, and she stands on guard to ensure that such fairness is fulfilled. As a bringer of clarity, Crow will assist you toward spiritual self-awareness. In standing by your personal integrity, you will awaken your authentic self. Balance is is a continuous process on the road of adjustment. Weigh decisions carefully so as to bring everything back into balance. You are the orchestrator of your life. Consider the results of all actions taken as your actions and thoughts shape your future. So like again, you know, this might not have as much to do with justice as it does just with cause and effect. But the fact that, you know, if we're having mental imprisonment, we're feeling self-pity or loneliness or Uh, shame or guilt or anything like that we want to release that because those are the vibrations that we're carrying forward into our future so when we learn how to shift those things when we uh, you know take a look inside ourselves and with our own integrity with our own uh, intuition and perception of, of right and wrong then we we do that and we do it we apply justice to that then it's going to give us a, a new vibration. It's going to give us a brand new way of thinking about things. And that's going to give us more of a, um, um, a more hopeful future. You know, we won't have to deal with this so much in the future. It won't be, it won't be like this all the time anymore, you know, uh, where we're feeling like, Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. You know, uh, poor me or, um, you know, um, nothing works out for me or something like that. You know, it's not like that at all. You know, uh, we have the ability to change that. And that starts with our own thoughts. And uh, granted, I mean, we've already, if we've, we've been thinking these thoughts and feeling these feelings for many, many, many years, and it's like a tower. It's like we've built this tower, this, um, we've built this foundation of, of who we think we are in, in, in relation to the world and, and to ourselves. And the truth is, you know, we can change that when we, especially if we look, if we look for um, the things that make us happy and we, and we want to, um, and we find the things that we can be grateful for and we share good times with others and we, we express our uh, feelings and our love and our um, joy. And we have, you know, these are the things that we, that feed that prosperous new future. You know, the one that we're free and we're um, happy, free, and in, more in love with our own life. So there we have uh, the, uh, le- to learn from the lessons, trust that there is better to come. Seize opportunities that will help make things the best they can be. Okay, so there we have that. Now I'm going to top off this little pyramid here with some Egyptian oracle cards. These are very uh, powerful in um, helping us to um, to show us the support that Spirit gives us, the advice that Spirit gives us to handle this, to deal with these changes and this transformation, and you know the the upheavals and the the self imprisonment that we we're feeling, and so what what does Aquarius need to know right now spirit in a way that how can will spirit support Aquarius at this time 
What do we have for Aquarius? Okay, thank you, Spirit. Okay. All right, the first one we have is number 17, which is, looking for another instance, Sekhmet. Sekhmet. Justice. Look at that. It's a justice card again. You have justice again here. Wow, that's a very impactful message uh, for, for you, Aquarius. Justice is here in your, in your reading twice. So let's look for number 17. And I'm pulling that up right quick. Read that to you. Sekhmet. Sekhmet. Justice. Lion-headed female goddess with a sun disk on her head. Sekhmet is the divinity of war, epidemics, but also the protectress of forms of healing. She is the expression of the duality between disease and healing, chaos and order, water and fire, the two elements from which matter and spirit are obtained. Sekhmet brings order and punishes those who disobey divine law. You have the opportunity to reconcile the opposing energies. Remember that all the chickens come home to roost. Every person must experience the consequences of their actions for better or for worse. Every action or thought generates a consequence. Proceed more calmly and patiently. Avoid extremes. Be your own magician. Balance your will and your goals. Be just and be fair. Learn to judge and criticize constructively without hurting others. Okay, Aquarius, that's a good message for everyone to, to remember. But here you have that basically that same message in this reading uh, emphasized twice, at least twice. Actually, with the high priestess, it kind of is another balance card of you know, using your moral integrity, your, your intuition to decide, you know, how best to think and feel and act. Um, and the tower is, is also a, a revelation that will come, uh, perhaps a consequence of some kind of, um, you know, balance and justice, cosmic. So then your next card is Seth. Number eight, resentment. And let me reiterate, this This is pretty interesting. 17 is eight, and this is eight. And you also have this eight of swords that's basically bearing down on you, uh, perhaps in your mental space. So let's read what, how, what Seth card says back. Um, let's look at that number eight. And let's not forget, too, this is... Um, this is the, um, the, the strong eight energy of this time right now. Seth is the one who, out of jealousy, dismembered his brother Osiris into 14 parts, scattering them into the Nile to prevent their resurrection. He is identified as an evil deity and a bringer of chaos, desert, storms, and disorder. He is depicted with a human body and the head of an enigmatic animal with a long curved snout that resembles that of an okapi. His name derives from place established by God. Seth puts you on your guard. You may experience unexpected accidents, moments of restlessness or resentment, conflicts or instability in emotional or commercial relationships. Moderate any attacks of uncontrolled anger. Remember, Never resort to revenge in your life. Okay? Justice. So these are very strong messages, Aquarius, at this time. I'm feeling very strong messages for you. For some specific Aquarius out there who are um, experiencing justice, upheavals, mental imprisonment, um, I can already see that you have on your side, you have truth, clarity, your intuition, you have the, um, 
resourcefulness of the seven of feathers and you also have this admonition to celebrate your life and your successes celebrate with those with ones you care about i'm going to also get a little bit more message for you today aquarius because i want to know what advice that uh, spirit has for aquarius to overcome these feelings to stay on the right track to deal with the hurts and the upheavals to make the most of the lessons learned so what do you does spirit have left to say more for aquarius at this time for their highest good thank you thank you spirit let's go let's do, there's one that pops out mystery bobcat the bobcat teaches you that there is true power and strength in silence and patience in order to get what you want you must be willing to plan adapt and above all have the patience to see your dreams manifest and that reminds me of this uh, cheetah as well the bobcat um, planning uh, you know you do have the foresight to know that a tower and justice is culminating around you um, so at this time uh, you know remember uh, there is true power and strength in silence and patience so being silent and patient with e with yourself and with others um, at this time would be helpful let's go ahead and look at a little bit more having patience seeing your dreams manifest i do feel like you are on track for um, to achieve your goal um, i was reading i was l l getting some information uh, about your situation uh, in particular at this time and knowing that while uh, that staying busy and uh, checking off your to-do list is something that that's going to give you a lot of encouragement and strength and enthusiasm at this time and that's also going to uh, that's also going to help to free you from this mental blockage that you might feel like um, like you can't move just go ahead and plan take steps um, make the plan of what steps you're going to take um, let's see if there's anything else for you here in, from the spirit animals okay innocence sheep you are encouraged to reconnect with your inner child in order to become more spontaneous and playful and consider what life has to offer with a greater sense of wonder Take some time this week to get in touch with the innocence and vulnerability in you. Okay, Aquarius, that's some pretty good uh, to me that feels uh, much better in balance with this justice cards, the two justice cards and the resentment card. You know, uh, let's take the time to go to, to go inside and remember, you know, the uh, the child that we were, that we, you know, what we used to. La, who we loved and what we had what our hopes and dreams were for ourselves when we were children when we were very young and remember that innocence be um be willing to play around with that feeling you know and to absorb the feeling of innocence and that way you know when you when justice is balanced here and um you know you're going to be more receptive to um, being kind and, and loving towards others and with yourself um, remembering to love yourself love that child the inner child you know take care of that one because um, you know they're still there and they want to be acknowledged and they need to be loved and and um, and appreciated and uh, yeah that's basically the best advice I think that we can have at this time for for you Aquarius I want to thank you uh, again for coming and for spending time with me here I hope that what you found here was helpful useful and helping you to prepare for anything coming up helping you to uh, stay on track and to um, you know help you to move forward in your manifestation goals um, I do appreciate all of the uh, interaction that I get from all of you uh, the love and the support thank you for everything that you do I hope that you'll join me again next time and so for now that'll be it we'll see you around 
Um, love you very much, Aquarius. Thank you. Love and light. Hmm. Yeah. 